Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get an awesome 24 hour Minecraft server from Apex Minecraft Hosting. You're going to need to go to rkt.us slash Apex, the first thing in the description down below, to get this server. It's an amazing server. It is going to cost you a little bit of money, as every 24 hour server does, but I personally recommend them. I use them for all of my servers. I've been working with Apex for over six months now, and they are incredible. You will not regret it. I promise you. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, we need to come up here to Google Chrome and go to rkt.us slash apex. Again, that is the first link down below. So if we go to rkt.us slash apex, hit enter, and we will be taken off to Apex Minecraft Hosting, where we can now go ahead, scroll down, and choose whatever kind of server we want. For me, I'm going to go ahead and choose the one gigabyte stone server, because guess what? That's the optimized one, right? That's going to be the best one for 1.8 and 1.8.2 and 1.8.1. One gigabyte is perfect for all of the 1.8 servers. So let's go ahead and click buy now. By the way, something else I do want to mention if we go back here, you can see how many slots each server has by going, you know, right here, slots. For example, this 1.8, 1 gigabyte server, 24 slots in it. So let's go ahead and click buy now. We will be taken through where you can see the product shopping cart. How are we going to get paid or how are you going to pay? And it's $7.99 right here, $22 every quarter or $88 every year. In my case, I'm going to use $7.99 every month. And then we're going to go ahead and in North America, because I live in North America and that's where I want my server, I want it to be set up with vanilla off the start here. And uh, you can get bucket support and plug-in installation for $5. Like, direct, they'll help you install the plugins and help you upload the worlds and all that. But I've got tutorials for all that, so you shouldn't need it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that unchecked. And then for your Minecraft username, you can enter that here. For me, I'm going to go ahead and Nick's Games. And then optionable subdomain. If you want a subdomain for your server, you can enter that there, but I'm not going to get one with this purchase. So let's go ahead and add to cart. And it will now take us over to here, where we can go ahead and, as you can see, we've got this one-time discount code automatically entered for us. But if you don't want to use that one, we can use mine. For example, I have a discount code for you guys. You can use NIC, N-I-C, and validate that. It's going to work the same way. It's up to you guys. doesn't matter to me which one you use. But as you can see, that knocks down the first purchase, the first month, from $5.99 to $7.99. Now, this is your first purchase, right? So whatever it is. For example, if you were to buy for a year... It would knock that $88.99 down 25%. So it's awesome that you can do that. And there you go. So we're going to pay $5.99 the first month and then $7.99 every month after that. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and go to checkout. Here we need to enter all of our billing information. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet you guys when everything's filled out. There'll be some black boxes here, but nothing major. Actually, just realized no information there. That needs to be blurred out. You can... See, all of that. But nevertheless, we want to go ahead and pay with PayPal or debit card. If you go with debit card, you'll go through, enter your information, and do all of that. If you go with PayPal, you'll be whisked off to PayPal. You can also add any additional notes that you want Apex to know or whatever about your specific case here. But we're not going to enter anything there. I'm going to go ahead and I have read and agree to these terms because I've read them before and agreed to them. And we're going to be paying with PayPal complete order. It will now take us off to PayPal. What is it? What, 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 what error do we have here? The passwords did not match. Well, I fail. Give me a second. Eh, two, oh, okay, hold on. Let me fix this. That was a fail. There we go. Sorry about that. So the passwords match. I have read and agreed to that. We're paying with PayPal. Complete. So there we go. It will now take us off to PayPal where we can go ahead and... Uh, and pay for this thing, so it's going to take us a second to be redirected. Once we redirect, boom, we're taking off to PayPal where we can pay for this. I'm going to go ahead, however, pay for this, go through all of that, and I will meet you guys where you'll be redirected once you have paid. All right, so after you have paid for your server, via, either via credit card or via PayPal, you'll be taken off to this page, apsminecrafthosting.com slash getting started. And as you can see, number one here, check your email. So that's what we're going to do. Minimize this. Boom, the email just appears. This is the email with a ton of information that you will get to the email address that you entered whenever you bought your server. Uh, right here is everything. Right? So, right here's the IP address for the server. Here is the billing information where you can go to the login area, see when your next invoice is due, and things like that. Where you can go to the control panel, see like 
you know, start and stop your server, see the players, op yourself, all of that stuff. That's what we're going to be focusing on here. And then last but not least, FTP login information, which you'll need if you decide to install Bucket plugins or mods or anything like that and go further than just a vanilla server or install a custom map on your vanilla server. You'll also need this information. So basically, what I'm telling you is make sure you save this email. Make sure you've got it ready to go. You at least screenshot this information right here from up here all the way down to there make sure you keep all of that right you want to keep every single one of those because if you don't you could have a problem so nevertheless let's go ahead and uh go to the control panel because that's gonna allow us to start start the server see all that stuff let's go ahead and click right here link to multicraft control panel that'll take us off to our browser to right here you can also go to apexminecrafthosting.com slash multicraft it'll get you to the same place Go ahead and enter the login information, which I know the username is Nick's Games. But what I don't know is right over here what this password is. So let's go ahead and copy that and paste it here. Log in. And bada bing bada boom, we are now logged into our server. Now as you can see right up here, the server is offline. So let's go ahead and click this start button. And uh, while that's starting up, I wanted you guys to look right over here. Here are tons of video tutorials on how to add plugins, how to install mod packs, change server versions, custom worlds, all of that stuff. It's right over here. Check it out, right? Awesome tutorials that will walk you through everything. They're adding more every single day, so there's tons of information there. And you can actually search and get more info and things like that. So now that our server is online, we need to go ahead and op ourselves. The reason you want to op yourself is so you don't, uh, well, you know, have any issues. For example, like, I don't know, dying and uh, not being able to, like, break, break blocks, and if someone joins your server, not being able to ban them, you, you not opting yourself won't get you killed. But what it will do is uh, all of those other things. Anyway, let's go ahead and op ourselves. Something you want to do as a server owner, most definitely. You want to come over here to console, click that, and here you want to type OP, and then whatever your Minecraft username is. In my case, Nix Games, right? So OP, Nix Games. In your case, it could be OP, you know, blah 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 if that blah 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 is your username that's what you would type there op blah 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 but whatever your username is op your username just like that op space username hit enter and then it will go through wait a second and then it will say opt right there next game so that means i can now have access to commands ban people all of that stuff so let's go ahead now and go back and uh, get this server IP from right here and uh, join it on up. So I'm going to go ahead and launch into Minecraft 1.8.1. This will work perfectly for 1.8.1, 1.8.2, 1.8, any version of 1.8. This will work perfectly for this tutorial applies to all of it. And nevertheless, let's go ahead and go into multiplayer. We're going to direct connect here to that IP. And then we need to put a colon, okay? And then we need the port number. So this is very important. Get the IP, which you can find right here when you first log into Multicraft. You'll see it. Get the IP there. Paste it. Then put a colon right there, two dots over each other, and then paste the port and then join the server. It'll now go through, log in, and wait for it. Boom. Spawn in the world. So we can now run over here, see what's going on, and how do we know it's this server? Well, I should be opt in it. So slash game mode one. Boom. Switches to me creative. If I was not opt, see if I slash diop nix games. Right? I cannot switch back now to game mode 0. I am now locked in game mode 1. So you want to be sure if you do op someone, give them creative, that they switch back before you de-op them. Nevertheless, there you guys have it. That is uh, how you can set up an Apex Minecraft hosting 24-hour server. I've got tons of other tutorials on Apex hosting as well as they have their own tutorials over here that you guys can check out. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. RKT.us slash Apex, amazing Minecraft hosting. I'm Nix Games. Thanks for watching this video, and I am out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, you can check out my fantastic episode 28, which is an awesome mod in Minecraft 1.8 Let's Play. And down the other way, we've got how to install Joypad in Minecraft 1.8. That's an awesome mod that allows you to play Minecraft 1.8 with a controller. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.